Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and it's been a while. It's been a while since I put up an unboxing video. Uh, that is mainly because I haven't had boxes coming in. Uh, it just kind of happened so that that wasn't the, the case. Uh, we had that issue with the Box of Dread where that was delayed, um, and I needed another one, and then so then the two Boxes of Dread came out kind of close to one another. Now, the same thing ended up happening with this BAM box. Uh, this got severely delayed because, and this is the April, by the way, which the theme is revenge, I think, or bloody revenge or something like that. Um, but this got severely delayed because it is, uh, I, I guess they had an item that was stuck in customs or something like that. Uh, the head of the company, Adam, was really good about communicating and making sure communication was sent out about that delay. They're very apologetic. This is the first time they've had anything like that happen as a company. Uh, and it's great to hear how apologetic they are. Um, but I don't really need all the apologies. All I need is the communication saying, hey, it's going to be late. And that's fine. Like, as long as I know to expect it later, it's the non-communication that ends up becoming a problem, which I've seen with companies like NerdBlock where they have issues and then they don't tell you and then you just find out. And then they're just like, <laughs> when you go to their customer service, they're like, yeah, what do you want? Like, their customer service is crap. Bambox does a really good job, at least thus far. So... Uh, they had said to make up for this April one being so late, what they're going to do is put an extra item in, not the May one, but the June one. The May one was already planned out, so they couldn't get anything extra in there, but they're going to put an extra item in the June one. So if you're watching this and you want to sign up, go ahead. That'd be great. Also, uh, just shoot me an email and I can send you uh, a, um, like a link, and then if you go through that link, then you can get... Um, get uh, some money off and then it'll help me out too so, but if you don't want to also whatever it's it's up to you uh so that's happening also there was a change with this box i know of uh there was a certain item i won't talk about it right now i'll talk about it when i actually pull out that item um it was a little let down by the change in that item so we'll talk about that more when it actually happens but let's get this thing opened i'm excited it's been a while since i've done an unboxing like i said uh, the other thing is if you watch my beer videos, uh, I haven't put up a beer video just because that's mainly been laziness. So, sorry about that. Um, one thing to note about this box, I have to chide the uh, U.S. Postal Service a little bit. Uh, it's raining today, and they left this out in the rain, so my box is soggy. <laughs> um, it's not like crazy, crazy soggy, but it's soggy, and hopefully that doesn't have any... Uh, damage that comes through on any of the items in there um usually postal service is good for me but why why did you leave this outside it's it actively raining all day and um you could have easily put it in between my wooden door and the glass door there's plenty of space this thing is thin so postal service come on all right let's get into this the tissue paper for my cat gonna love it she's oh additional tissue paper for my cat this is a twofer this time i don't think there was any tissue paper in the last one so she's getting double this time she's gonna be excited all right first item feels heavy like a pen or like a metal stake or something it might be a bullet actually because of revenge it is baba yaga the boogeyman Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga has to do with um, Hellboy comics, I believe. I don't understand the boogeyman aspect of it, but it's a bullet, basically, but it's a uh, bottle opener, which is an interesting thing. Actually, let me know if this has... Well, I'll find out from the from the booklet if this has any sort of other reference, but as you get... You know, it's kind of hard to see. You can see right there. Like the bottle opener aspect of it that's cool it's interesting i'm i'm cool with that that's fine i mean that's one of the things where it can kind of be displayed and used at the same time so that's cool uh the pin which people know i love the pins hopefully this is awesome i mean it's fine because it's a pin like the the pins always look good no matter what you get but this is the item I was saying that they had to do kind of like a substitution. For some reason, I'm having a hard time getting this open. Okay, so they had to do a substitution. So they were working with, I guess, Troma 
to get a product. And I think this is a licensed product from Troma. Um, so originally it was going to be something that was Toxic Avenger, which I'm like, sweet, Toxic Avenger. Like so many people know Toxic Avenger, even if they're not huge into Troma or know much about Troma. Uh, but for some reason they weren't able to do that. I don't know if it was like a cost thing for the licensing of it. Um, so they said, we're changing it and it's now Kabuki Man, which I know of Kabuki Man, but I don't know much about Kabuki Man. I don't, I honestly don't have any interest in Kabuki Man and a lot of people probably don't know Kabu Kabuki Man. So it really is a downgrade for the box for that reason, because like I was saying, a lot of people know Toxic Avenger, even if they're not big into trauma, but pretty much nobody knows Kabuki Man unless they're into trauma. So it's a Kabuki Man pin which is fine, if you can see it all right there. It's very dark. I mean, the, you know, as usual, the pin quality is really nice. It's it's well done, um, but it's just not that interesting of a thing. Not a fan of that. I'm hoping with the comic and the art print and whatnot, this gets better, because um, at the moment, oh, oh. And I just remembered what the autograph is supposed to be in this. So we'll see. All right. Uh, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really nice. This is, this is really awesome. This, uh, this is licensed. Okay, it's a licensed art print for the Punisher, licensed by Marvel. And it's the Punisher. Look at that. But it's done like kind of like a nice vintage style punishing since 1974 that's pretty cool i like it it's got great color to it the style looks really nice it it's a popular character like a very cool popular character that's really nice and it's signed by the artist and it's number 1062 out of 3000 total well you know authentication on the back and it's got the marvel logo so it is licensed by marvel that's cool I know Bambox said that they're trying to do a lot more licensing type stuff. And I think this is the very first box where they've actually had a licensed item. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing, what is this going to be? Oh, this is a signed item. Okay, so I knew that the autograph was going to be someone from an X-Men film. One of the X-Men films. So what I was really hoping for was X-Men First Class, Caleb Landry Jones. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He's a he's a very underappreciated actor, but I think he's phenomenal. Uh, if anyone's seen the film Antiviral by Brandon Cronenberg, or seen Byzantium, or seen the most recent uh, thing that he's been in, uh, Get Out, he was the brother in Get Out. He does an amazing job, but he was an X Men First Class. But I did not get that. I don't think anyone ended up getting him, most likely. But I'll look around. But someone had guessed that this would be the case. Tyler Maine. Okay, so Tyler Maine used to be, he was a wrestler at one point, but he was also in X-Men films as um, Sabretooth. And there you go. Signed, Sabretooth. Um, I don't really think the, the, the shot they picked for this is all that great. I mean, I, I would think something more showing like his actual like Sabretooth teeth would be a little more iconic and and fun but it's okay he's been hitting a lot of horror conventions too just so everybody knows and that's it yeah. they hype they really hyped this one a little bit of a letdown to be honest for for how much they hyped it um and they went away from the booklet for whatever reason uh so here here's what we have uh the kabuki man licensed Licensed by Troma. Yeah, the Kabuki Man pin. And there are apparently two versions of the pin. I got the, what I'm assuming is non-rare version, which is just the straight up one that I showed you. Um, another one has him with chopsticks in his hand. Uh, not a huge difference there. Uh, then there's a, the Tyler Main signed uh, item. They have the Punisher art print, which there were two versions of the Punisher art print, and one of them was out of uh, an out of 500, which the it just looks like the color scheme was different. If you can get a good look, it's like there, it's like pink and purple, which is cool. I mean, I like that variation. 
Uh, I mean, the, the original looked really good, but the, that variation is kind of cool. Um, and then the Baba Yaga 50 caliber bullet bottle opener. Um, and, oh, inspired by John Wick. Okay, I've, I'm sorry, I haven't seen John Wick, so that's... But Baba Yaga comes up in Hellboy. That, that's a Hellboy thing. So, anyway, um, they really hyped this, and I kind of feel let down, to be honest. Like, this bottle opener is a cool idea, especially if you like John Wick and you're a big fan. Like, that's a good idea for that. Um, not that excited about this because Tyler Maine's autograph is actually not that hard to get. If you just go to a horror convention, he's been doing plenty of them. Um, and it's just not that exciting. Some people could be down with it, could be excited about it. This is cool. I really do like this. This is really nice. Um, it looks good. It's licensed. It's numbered. It's signed. Um, it's nice. I like that one. And the pin. I already talked about it. Like, good quality pin, but it's Kabuki Man. And it was going to be Toxic, it's Toxic Avenger, which would have been cool. I would have been excited about that if it was Toxic Avenger. So, um, eh. Like I said, let down based off the hype. But other than that, it's okay. I think... I don't hate it, and I don't hate it because of this. Like, this is nice. I will put this up. That's nice. I like that. Um, other than that, I would like to see some better stuff coming up. Uh, so next month, speaking of better stuff, uh, Defend Space Edition is what it's going to be. It will feature an autograph from Star Wars Clone Wars and a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Limited Edition item. So... That sounds cool. I mean, it sounds like it could be really good. And then, like I said, for that'll be May's. So for June's, which we don't know what the what the uh, theme's going to be at this point, they're going to add in something extra to make up for the issue with uh, the April being so late. But um, overall, I mean, some people probably really like this. Uh, but like I said, man, they they really hyped this one as being like, yeah, it's awesome. Which actually. You know, maybe that hype was really just coming from this because it's a licensed Marvel item. And in which case, like, I understand that, but I think maybe they should have just said, you know, one of the items in there is like, and it is, like, that's a, that's a pretty awesome item, to be honest. But the rest of it, for me, it's not all that great. But we'll see what happens next time uh, with the Defend Space Edition. I'm interested in that quite a bit. But anyways, if anybody has anything they want to communicate to me, um, if you want to get a link from me and use it to get some money off signing up for Bambox, uh, go ahead, uh, send me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And uh, I'll get back to you. Or if you just want to talk or you want information or give me your opinions, I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Anyway, thank you for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.